space in my uh, hard drive for the remaining parts because apparently uh, I took up enough space with Final Fantasy VIII. So yeah. Anyway, right now we come to Selfie's train addiction. Yes, train, train, take us away. Get used to hearing that because she's going to be saying that every time we ride a train. And Zell, he's like a kid again, bouncing on chairs. You are so immature. Oh, and just for the record, what we just received is Pet Pals Volume 1. So what exactly is Pet Pals Volume 1? Well, that will actually be used for a character that will be joining us in Part 10. Now, as far as for anything is concerned, you can just say, I don't care or not too much. It doesn't matter. Zell will keep on talking and tell you about Timber. <clears throat> now, I want to have Squall at least somewhat talkative. I mean, he can't just be going around like saying, whatever, and ellipses. Now, I'm not sure if there's actually friendship values in this game, because I don't remember them being friendship values, but I do know this. Just the uh, responses people give is rather hilarious, but at the same time, I think there are certain parts where you actually will need to, uh, how should I put it, be nice to people. Of course, he calls uh, Zell Mr. Know-it-all. Wait, what selfie do? She just comes in to just fall down and fall asleep. And, uh oh. Everybody's starting to fall asleep. I mean, Zell, he just conked out. Uh oh. Who put sleeping gas in the air vents? Well, our trip to Timber is going to be very interesting. And sorry for the loud noise, ladies and gents. Uh, needless to say, that loud bee noise is them conking out from the sleeping gas. <clears throat> and now we come to an interesting part of this game, where we take over as Laguda, Kaidos, and what the hell are these? What's the hell's the big guy's name again? I don't remember when I get into battle. But we now take over as Laguna's crew, and Squall is wondering, what the hell? But, there is actually a uh, draw spot right there. So if you happen to use up all your magic by this time, by all means, don't forget to pick it up. And speaking of enemies, yeah. These enemies actually appear in uh, Dolette, and it's Laguna Ward and Kiros, that's what it is. And, one, and I think Ward is the guy who throws the spear, Kiros is the guy with the knives, Laguna, everybody knows Laguna. For those of you who don't, he gets leg cramps at the sight of women. But here's the thing, the setup that I have for... Uh, Squall, Yuffie, and Selfie? No, wait, Squall, Selfie, and, um, Zell. Why did I say Yuffie? God damn it. Anyway, Squall, Selfie, and Yuffie's little setup that I had for them for the most part is carried over onto, um, Laguna, Ward, and Kiros. So, whatever GFs you gave them, they now have for the time being. And of course, if you haven't drawn anything, or if you have some draws and you just want to try to get the draws completed... Oh cool, Ice Magic Refinery, awesome! That'll save you time and money on draws! 
Yay! And with that, let's go on ahead and get. Uh, who should? I, what? What? What should I have Shiva to learn? Uh, I got her to learn boost. I can learn. I can have her to learn spirit at least, so she could actually do some more magic damage. Or just leave her the way she is. Let's see. What about you? You haven't learned anything yet, so you still got 20 more. Uh. AP. So what about you? Uh, nothing? Okay. Let's just keep on going. And everybody still has question marks as to what the hell's going on. And by everybody, I mean the people who are asleep. Don't worry, we're gonna get to that part. But anyway... Basically what you're gonna be doing is, uh, fighting in random encounters. And by the way, the HP on Ward and Kuros... That is also the HP on Selfie and Zell, because I had increased the HP of Selfie of Selfie and Zell, but not uh, Squall. I have to unlock the junction to increase the HP from Siren. And Laguna is put to sleep. Well, great. Oh, and notice the armor that these guys are wearing. Yes, we're fighting as Galbadian soldiers. In other words, we are the G unit. Yes, that's right. G unit. And we're actually using uh, GFs that were recently used against Biggs and Wedge several parts ago. I wouldn't worry too much on sleep because, let's face it. Once the battle's over with, your character's gonna wake up. Oh, and those M stones? Once you get a refinery, like a uh, ice refinery or a life refinery or anything like that, you can turn magic stones into uh, junctionable magic that you happen to find. Like, for instance, if you are out of Kuraga or Cura and you happen to find Cura, you can actually, well, you have the junction of magic, that's what I'm trying to say. But once you refine the uh, life refinery, you can just make magic stones into uh, certain. Uh, yeah, you, like I said, you can just make magic stones into magic. But what I just found was the only Watera um, junction you will find right there. So it's great to have something that will refine ice and water because... Oh, was that water or water? I think it was water. But either way, make sure you pick up that water uh, magic. Because then you can actually use the refinery from Shiva, which will be refinery ice or refinery water, to increase the amount of water magics you have and instead of having to draw water you can just pick up magic stones from random enemies and refine it into magic all the more reason of refining stuff is a good thing and by the way i am breaking the game but there is actually another draw point i may end up running into it accidentally but there is another draw point uh, what just happened? I think I'm stuck. Oh yeah, I am stuck. No, never mind, I'm back. Okay. Now then. Let's go in here. And if we go upstairs, I think that's where the draw point is. But this is actually near the end. This area is basically the end of the disc. That's where this area is. So this is sort of a spoiler warning. No, I'm saying that this area is the end of the disc, but I'm not saying what happens at the end of the disc. We still have to come here, so... <clears throat> I won't spoil anything. However, I do believe there is a stray junction around here somewhere. I'm not sure. Not here? Oh, okay. Let's just go down. But this area basically will be used for the end of the disc. 
So yeah, you can actually travel around with Ward, Kaidos, I mean, Kiros, and Laguna. Who Kiros, by the way, definitely looks like a chick. But no, that is a dude. <sighs> Take it slowly. And I feel so sorry for the guy who's underneath Ward's backside. Now this way also pertains to disc one, but I could have sworn that I happened to found a uh Yeah, I could have sworn I found a draw point somewhere here in this cave in this area. Huh. I guess I didn't. Oh and I guess I can't go that way. Oh well. Look at how this idiot runs. And by idiot, I mean Ward. Well, he's not technically an idiot. Just the way he runs, is, he runs like an idiot. I don't know. I guess I may have missed it. <clears throat> but I did happen to somehow access an area that I wasn't supposed to with Laguna. But I'm just showing off you could actually roam about. Because where we need to go is... Well, right where that Jeep is going. I, okay, okay, stop getting stuck. Keep going. <clears throat> Please keep going. Alright, there we go. And the Gobata Hotel is where we... Oh god, did I just turn back? I just turned back. God damn it. I hate it when that happens. They changed the angle and I inadvertently pushed back instead of forward. Kinda hate it when that happens. And no, I'm not just dawdling around this time. And of course... Everybody's poking fun at the fact that Laguna has the hots for the pianist. Oh, yeah. And by the way, you could actually use the hotel room to pretty much heal. So, let's get the hell out of this place. Now then. Uh, there's something else to do to up here. Let's go down here where we need to go. And this is the uh, waitress, so all we need to do is wait for the pianist. And of course, somebody's saying, is this a dream? How, how, why did I have to wait till Laguna says at ease just, to, just for them to see? It's just for them to sit down, man. They're only going out to drink. <clears throat> but unfortunately, we get to see something so sad, it's laughable, actually. And that is... Well, Laguna's luck with women. Decidia beat this joke to the ground. Plain and simple. Every time he meets a beautiful lady, something odd tends to happen to him. Oh, you'll see in just a moment. But as soon as you set foot right near this lady, As soon as you walk inches towards her, well, <coughs> the nervousness kicks in. And by nervousness, I mean he gets a leg cramp. Ah, uh, poor bastard. Yep. 
Lake cramps are synonymous with Laguna. <laughs> the man's got a Charlie horse. The moment he sees a beautiful lady, that's gotta be a curse. And he's walking around with a damn Charlie horse. And he's limping back to it. He's limping back to his friends. Okay, now his legs are fine. <laughs> so, yeah, basically. Laguna's luck with women, terrible. God forbid if you saw the exchange between him and Ultimicia. Uh, you don't know who that is yet, but uh, yeah, it's hilarious. And also him and the uh, Cloud of Darkness. And not to mention him and Tifa. <sighs> That infamous lay cramp. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, in case you're wondering, Ultimicia is some hooker on the street. That, that's all you need to know. So, now, Laguna, after embarrassing himself, is just lamenting over the fact that, well, his nervousness got the better of him. So, as regular bros, Ward and Kiros pretty much paid for all the drinks they could possibly drink, so he could be alone with the pianist. The Bro Code. They are such good wingmen. Anyway, Julia basically walked up to him, and while uh, Laguna actually struggled to walk up to her. This man's so nervous, he looks like he's about to have another leg cramp. <laughs> and whoever said that said it best. What is this guy thinking? <clears throat> There's just not much really to say, actually, except Laguna is at first a smooth talker, if you can see that, and a father to his men in a way. But when it comes down to the ladies, well, uh, he may talk the talk. But unfortunately, he can't walk the walk once that leg crack kicks in. <clears throat> and how he's coughing. I mean, Laguna just don't know what to do. You know, well, at least the guy has the nerve to talk to somebody. At least Laguna does not have a fear of women. Like a certain Dragon Ball character that first made his appearance. <sighs> now Laguna has been invited to Julia's hotel room. Poor man don't know what to do with himself now. <laughs> Somebody's saying this is a dream, this is a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. He talks to himself too much. <laughs> I know that squall because he says whatever. <laughs> That's hilarious.
Wow, that is just so hilarious. So now we can just go into Julia's room while trying to say which is Julia's room. Huh, his name is Loar? Okay. Oh, his last name's Loar. I get it, I get it. <coughs> uh, poor Laguna. Well, if this does turn out to be a love story, it's certainly better than the clumsy relationship of uh, Titus and Yuna. And God is a clumsy. I mean, I give him props. It, it does turn out sweet at the end, but it is clumsy as all out. And then again, at least this relationship, as funny as it is, <laughs> Lacuna's nervous as hell, being in a woman's bedroom. Uh, at least this is not as forced as a certain other relationship in this game. So, yeah. <laughs> Lacuna doesn't know how to act, cause Julia happened to see him every day that he comes into this hotel to watch her play, smiling at her. He's scared, cause now that he's got a girl's attention, he don't know what to do. Abort, abort, that's all his mind is thinking. Or it must be a dream. <laughs> but I guess he calms down now. Well, at least calm down enough to tell uh, Julia to uh, go out for, with him with a drink. Oh, and he wants to quit the Galbadian army to become a journalist. Wait, a journalist? Okay, I guess. It's better than quitting the army to become a murderer. But every war toward veteran may need something peaceful. Well, it looks like we're coming on to the end of this dream sequence here. Well, I hope the game doesn't crash or anything. I guess I'll have to talk to Julia. Just a little bit more before we actually end this dream sequence. And now Laguna actually has a reason to be a writer now. Because even though Julia could sing, she can't really think of lyrics on her own. So yeah, this is an interesting dream sequence. And trust me, this is the first of many. You'll be seeing a lot of Laguna, I promise you. Late crap and all. You know, you've said you must be dreaming. You must be dreaming about several times, Laguna. No, you're not dreaming. There is a woman standing right in front of you. Yep, and with that, we're gonna call this dream sequence to an end. And now we've made it to Timber. <coughs> After
after everything we've been through. And how the squall caps off this dream sequence? Who was wondering why everybody was asleep? <coughs> or rather, if he was asleep. And not only that, there's only one line to cap off this entire dream sequence I had with Laguna. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. <coughs> uh. And that one is... <coughs> Hold on. God damn it. I dreamt I was a moron. There is the freaking phrase that capped off the entire dream sequence. God damn! Why? Why in the hell is this happening now? Anyway... Well, everybody's having the same dream of Laguna. Which should be weird to everyone because... Squall was having that dream. So, yeah! <clears throat> Why would you have that dream right before the Timber mission? Speaking of which, we should be in the outskirts of Timber, no problem, and I apologize for that cough, my bad. I thought I got rid of it, but apparently not. Well, one thing is for sure, the moment we st uh, the moment the train stops, we will be in timber. And this is where we're going to put a stop to this video. I said we're going to be going to timber in this part and we will. And and we are actually. We're right here as soon as the train gets out of the overworld sequence, which is slowing up incredibly terrible. Anyway, <clears throat> we will stop the gameplay right here, and in the next episode, we'll join the Timber. <coughs> oh, sorry, God damn it! We start. We will actually join the operatives that we're supposed to be helping in Part Ten, and also a certain someone will become a party member. I'll see you guys next.